you would either go on this one here or press Q. I like to press Q. It's just a shortcut that I use. It's a lot quicker. Saves a lot of time. Right, now we've got it in the right place. Come out of the symbol by double clicking outside of it. It's really slow. I hate this bloody recording program. <laughs> right, now we have our button and it's right how we want it. Okay, so just put it there. Create a new layer. I'm going to call it um, title. Okay, so within that title layer, just create a, a, a word saying menu. Something like that. doesn't really matter what it's called. It's just a, a f symbol, pretty much. So, now, we want to create something that when you press this, it will go to something. So, just select the scene box here and create a new scene. As you can see, it says add scene. Add a new scene call it weapons as you can see you can change between the two and the frames change so this can be seriously useful if because you can get confused between what frames what where does it go stuff like that it's really simple to use as well so so we can just like quick draw say well, actually, I think the first weapon we'll be using is a pistol, so pistol. There. So now we know what weapon we're going to be using next or making. So we're going to see the, select the weapons um, button that you've created, and as you can see, instance is button. Now, what you want to do, you want to select that um, weapons tab, press F9. Or right click actions. Okay, this little tab just has everything from your operator's functions. Your timeline control is what we're going to be using at the moment, and your movie clip control. So, what we want to be doing is say when you press it, it will go to the weapon scene. Okay, so if you're just wondering what I've got. I usually am in expert mode because I type it up myself. But if you're new, either go script assist if you have a new version, newest version of Flash, or go on your options and go normal mode, or whichever it is. So now, so when we press this, it will go to say scene weapons. Okay. So on, not release. We want it on press. So when you press your mouse and then go to, you want it, so the blue's in the middle, so then it's within that little bit of code, basically. So we want it to go on weapons. So you see here, it's a little tab, open box tab thing. You want it to select on weapons. So then you can see on press, open, go to and play weapons on frame one. One. As you can see, it says here frame one, and then it closes. So that's the coding done, pretty much. Simple as that. So you would exit. And actually, first, so it doesn't go between the scenes every single time. On your empty layer, um, you name it code. This is your like layer that you have all your stuff from, what button does what, reload, stuff like that. So, okay, this is the bit where um, I once got confused on what did what because I kept mixing symbols with the frame. What I mean by this is when you're in action script, okay, it says here, I never saw this before when I first started, so it's a good little tip. Um, at the moment, it's on button, isn't it? because it's selecting on the button and you can get confused sometimes because you think you're on that but you're not you're actually on this button here but say you would want to put something on the actual frame itself so say when it gets to this frame this will happen and that will happen you basically select frame press F9 and it will come up with the tab 
And as you can see, actions for frame one, layer name code. So frame one, it's on that. Layer name code, it's on that. So what we want to do is so it won't keep switching between menu and weapons, is just put a little stop. So we just want it to stop. So drag a stop into that, and it will just stop it from going backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, stuff like that. So now we have that, we can go onto our weapons, and create a new layer, call it code. Just whack a, a stop into there as well. So now we've basically finished our weapons. So to test this out, press control enter. I'm just gonna resize it and as you can see it's all here. And when your mouse goes over it, you can just see that there's an arrow. Um, a, um, a hand pointing to your button. If you click it, it will go to your next scene. And that's basically how you were to do it. So, um, I'd say in the next tutorial, most likely, we'll be drawing the weapon up. And then maybe, just maybe, we'll be actually coding it so it will follow your mouse. Right, so, thank you for watching this tutorial. Um, please watch the next one if you're trying to learn the basics of Flash and also creating a shooting game. Okay, thanks.